the next couple of years, the governments are just going to continue to try to screw this up. You know, I mean, like I said, they want their buddies in the pharmaceutical industry to control it, you know, and they don't want to see the people set free. And what, I mean, really what they're so afraid of is, you know, when the people actually know the whole truth about what's been done to them, they won't put any trust in these political parties again because, you know, political parties just breed corruption. So it doesn't matter which party gets in, you know, they're still controlled by these mega rich people who stand in the background. And so they're not working for the people. So I mean, I mean, the human race has every reason to be very angry about what's taking place here because you take over, you know, it's been over 90 years now since they outlawed the medicinal use of this plant in Canada. And then you look at all, all the laws that were put in place in other countries and you think how many millions of people, or actually even billions of people, have suffered and died simply because that medicine wasn't available. I mean, we're talking about big numbers here. Every family, we've all had family members that we've lost to diseases that this oil could have healed. Who's responsible for this? You know, our governments are supposed to be there to represent us properly. They're supposed to put laws in place that make sense, that are based, you know, in facts, not fiction. Look what they did in the case of cannabis. You know, so like I said, the public have every reason to be angry.